हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज आशीष सनी फ्रॉम इनोवेट योर सेल्फ वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल वंस अगेन आई एम बैक विद अनदर सेशन ऑन राजा 2.0 पॉइंट ओ इन टूडे सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू दैट वट एग्जैक्टली द चेक पॉइंट्स आर एंड हाउ आर यू गोइंग टू यूज देम विद योर राजा प्रोजेक्ट and also i will show you the difference between the checkpoints that are being used in rasa 1.x and in rasa 2.0 so that you can accordingly do the modification and you can make your project more compatible with the functionality that you are actually working on so this is all that we will be covering in today's session now let's not waste time and let's straight away go to the project so let's get started all right so this is a project which we have created in our previous sessions and there i have already shown you and also i have added some of the functionalities to your project which was to create some of the stories uh, like for playing the video from the custom action or to add a very basic uh, conversation between the bot and the user so this is what we have added in there but there as you have seen like this is one story this is second story this is third story and this is fourth story so there are four different stories and if in case you are going to talk to your bot so let's say i said hi which is like greet so based on that your bot is going to reply you as per that and accordingly the conversation or let's say the story will be followed according to the flow that you have set in there so this is how exactly your bot is going to work but suppose i want first this story to be executed and just after that this story to be executed and this story should not execute before this story has already executed so that means you have to connect two stories together and you have to set an order that first story will come first and after that second story will come at second position so this is how you are going to make that part and to join these two stories together to work in a single flow you have to use the checkpoint so this is all about the checkpoints that we are going to cover in today's session so that is how you are going to use the checkpoints in rasa chatbot so before going to the rasa 2.0 i would like to show you that how we were using checkpoints in rasa 1.x so that at least you can understand and you can also relate like how the checkpoints are being used in the previous session if in case you are still working on the previous versions of rasa chatbot and also after that i will show you how you can use them in rasa 2.0 if you are going to use the latest version of rasa 2.x right so let me just go to one of my previous project where i have already explained that how you can use the checkpoints in rasa 1.x so let me just show you that so i'm going to one of my previous project and this is one of the previous project there i'm going to the stories and in here you can see this is a complete story and in here you can see this is one story this is second story here what exactly i was using is i was just connecting two stories together i was just joining them to work as a single story or let's say as a single flow so this is how i was working and to connect them i have added a checkpoint to add the checkpoint what exactly you have to use is you just have to add this greater than symbol in the beginning give a space and after that just write a name for your checkpoint so this is how we were using it in rasa 1.x series and after that so this is like this is a name which i have assigned to this story so this is a story to which i have assigned this checkpoint and after that how i have to use this checkpoint to link one story to another so to link that i have to specify like to which story i am going to link my this first story right so this is what i am doing and for that like this is a checkpoint name which i have assigned at the ending of the story and to assign it to the different story or let's say to join it to the different story what i have to do in the beginning of that particular story let's say this is the second story in the beginning of that i am assigning the same thing which means this story has been linked to the second story which means once you have completed the execution or let's say you have uh, worked as per this conversation flow uh, just after that it will go to this position just after that it will work like this right and in here i have assigned or let's say i have joined this flow to two different stories one was this and the second one is this so that means this story and this story should be executed only if 
this story has already executed so this is how i was using the checkpoint in rasa 1.x so if in case you are going to use the previous version of that then try using and try writing the checkpoints in this way but if in case you are using the latest version of rasa which is rasa 2.x series so in that case now i will show you that how you can use that part right so this was all about the rasa 1.x series now let's shift to rasa 2.x and i hope you have got the proper understanding of this checkpoints in rasa 1.x but still if you're facing any difficulties in that then feel free to leave a comment below i will try to resolve your issues as soon as possible now let's shift to rasa 2.x and in here you can see this is all right so before doing the execution part or let's say before directly going to the checkpoint part let me just show you how your stories are going to work without the checkpoint so that at least you can relate to that part right so for that i'm going to terminal now and in here i have already run the rasa shell and also i have run rasa action in the parallel so that at least i can uh, check the conversation flow right so for that let me just show you and before showing that part let me just tell you one thing like you can see this is the first story this is the second story or let's say this is the first story and this is the second story right now if in case i am going to talk to my bot based on these stories so there what will happen is if in case i am going to call this story first let's see what will happen so the first one is play video so let me just check what is this play video part okay play the mentioned video let me just type this and let's see what will be the output I have to use the checkpoint so this is all can you see wait playing your video this means it is working as per this story and now you can see it has opened a new browser and in there it is running this video right so whatever it was so this is how it is working and this is going as per this flow right so let me just go in here and just stop it so that it will not start the video right so let me just stop it and now after that let's do one more thing let's say hi okay so it is uh, breaking the flow right let's say hi how are you let's say sad i'm going as per this flow now right similarly okay let's say yes like this right so this is the way how it is going to work and now if i will say the same thing again you will see it will again start the video right so this is how it is going to work but we don't have to uh, make it work in this way because this is the flow which i have shown you just right now i want to make it work with this flow which means firstly this story should be executed then only your custom action should execute so there i have to use the checkpoints and to add the checkpoints to your story what exactly you have to do is now i'm going to show you that part so that means i'm going to connect one story to the second story for that just go after this story or let's say to the last of your story which you want to connect to the other story for that just mention in here checkpoint colon and here just assign the name of your checkpoint right so that you can accordingly link this story to the second story so let me just give it a name let's say play action checkpoint right so this is a name which i have assigned for your checkpoint now just copy this part i have copied this i have assigned this checkpoint which means i have made a checkpoint for this story now i want to connect this story to the second story for that you have to come in the beginning of the second story which means just after the steps and just paste it here this means i have linked the first story to the second story and now after that now if you will train your model and you will run it you will see you will not be able to execute this story directly because now i have make a direct connection between the first story and the second story which means first story will be executed first then only you will be able to execute the second story otherwise it will not take you or let's say it will not execute the second story so this is how you can limit that part and this is how you can give a proper functionality to your project which you are actually expecting so this is how you are going to work now let me just train the model and let me show you that whether it's working or not so let me just 
do it again and this time i'm going to oh, let's uh, make it work like this only exactly your bot is going to work but suppose i want first this story to be executed and just after that this story all right so you can see now the model is trained and now we can talk to the bot so for that let me just show you that whether i'm able to come into this story directly or not so for that i'm going to go as per this flow so for that i'm going to follow the intent right this is play underscore video which is this one which is coming into the second story right so let me just type it right what happened it didn't show you any output and maybe if you will check in the debug mode you will see there is some error in that right so the reason is just because we have added the checkpoints and now you will not be able to uh, go to this story directly and for that first you have to follow this path then only you will be able to come into this and you will be able to do or let's say you will be able to call the custom action so this is how we are going to work and for that let me just show you how to do that part so for that let's say hi or let's say how are you i'm saying sad so let's say yes it worked so that means great carry on so that means it has come to this part now i can call this part right so let me just type this play the mentioned video okay 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 my fault my fault uh i'm actually not going to this part i am calling it as per this which means here it should be deny not the affirm part so here i said yes so here i just have to say no right so let me just uh, type it again let me just type this so see i said no now it is inside this buy which means utter goodbye now i have to check this play the mentioned video and now you will see it will start opening a browser and it will open the video as mentioned in the action file right so here is the action server which is running now you can see this is how we can use the checkpoints mission just after that it will work. and now you will see automatically your video will start working right and in this case i have can you see the ad is already working so let me just skip that part and right now i have just muted that part so that's why it will not open it up and maybe right now the connection is quite slow so that's why it is uh, taking a bit time to work right i am back with another so you can see the video is playing this so this is all about the checkpoints and now i think you have got the proper understanding of how to use the checkpoints in rasa 1.x and in uh, rasa 2.x as well and still if you are facing any difficulties in understanding the topic then feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section whether for the 1.x or for 2.x of rasa version and also if you have liked this video then do click on the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then do click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any videos from my channel Till then, bye bye and happy learning.